I'm gonna share with you what has been my favorite distortion pedal of 2023. I'm running my Squire Jazzmaster Baritone straight into my door through the pedal. And I'm gonna make you wait until the end of the video to reveal what the pedal actually is. The pedal was used exclusively on the intro track that you just watched. And I wanna just show you the versatility of this pedal. So let's dive straight in. So first things first, it's got a really great tube-like mid-boosting setting on here. And you can impact the amount of gain. That's at 25%, let's go up to 100. We can emphasize the higher end frequencies, go to about 50% gain again, keep it there. So we can pull out some of that low end, the bass frequency. That sounds really, really nice. Let's add a bit more teeth onto the sound now. Let's turn the gain right up. See how nasty this thing can get. Turn the gain down a little bit. So just clean it up a little. Super nice and versatile. And it's got one more trick up its sleeve. We can get some really gnarly sort of bit crushing sounds from it. Now I'm super conscious that I've not showed you the pedal so far. I've not showed you all the settings and what you can do, etc. And there's a very specific reason why. Because we live in a world of preconceptions. We live in a world of bias. And I didn't want you to know that the pedal that I've just been playing, which to my ears sounded pretty damn cool, is in fact advertised as, and widely known primarily as, a delay pedal. That's right, every noise you've heard in this video so far has come through the Maris LVX. This is not only my favourite overdrive slash distortion pedal of 2023, but my favourite pedal of 2023, full stop. So there we go, sorry to play a little trick on you, but I didn't know how else to get you to watch the whole damn thing without switching off when you thought this nutter is going to play overdrive and distortion through a delay pedal and it's going to sound pathetic. I think that sounds pretty good, but for a pedal that is primarily modelled and advertised as a delay pedal, or albeit a modular delay pedal. Uh, I think there's some brilliant sounds out there. And don't forget if I was adding delay, in fact, let me do it quickly, because it would be wrong of me not to. The really, really, really cool thing about these sounds in the Maris LVX is that you can move them in and around the other sounds. Let's just go with delay though for the purposes of the next 30 seconds minute. So we're gonna put on one of the sounds we just had, a bit of mid-range boost, which sounds lovely. We've got that at the front of the chain at the minute. I'm gonna set a simple delay up. So my dry signal is, we're gonna pop a simple delay on. Or we can have it on all of the signal, so we can have it on the pre and the dry. Oh yeah, and you can also have that in stereo too. So cool, love the Mercedes LVX, it continues to amaze me 
every time I turn it on. If you're interested in hearing or seeing anything else around the Maris LVX, then there's links somewhere here to the playlist that I've got. I've got over 12 videos on there. Um, not just showing you what it does, but really deep diving and trying to explain to you at least how to get some of the rich, deep sounds and layers out of this pedal. Similarly, I've made a playlist with over 80 different pedal videos on from over the years. If you don't subscribe to the channel, I would love to have you here. I post a couple of new videos most weeks of the year. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so uh, we'll give you my honest opinion, having played hundreds and hundreds of pedals over the years. So if you don't yet subscribe, please do hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you back every single week. And let me know below what you think in the comments. Did you think any of that sounded any good whatsoever? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.